So as I mentioned in the first video, this hydroponic setup doesn't have a working controller because it doesn't have a working power source for one. Or rather, it didn't have one then. It does now because this week I fixed that. This is the new power circuit for the hydroponic micro greenhouse. It's pretty heavily based on an instructable I found. It consists of one half watt solar cell and a lithium ion battery. Lithium ion batteries are finicky about their charging and they can experience significantly shortened life or even catch fire if their charging current isn't carefully ladled out to them. So the solar panel is connected to the battery with this little charging board. The board I bought seems to have a little load detection circuit between the battery terminal and the output terminal. This actually causes me a problem because when the Arduino render enters its power saving mode, this circuit detects that there's no load on it and shuts off power to the output. Because the Arduino no longer has any power, it then shuts down and it can't come back out of low power mode. It took me a few days to figure out this was going on. The solution was pretty easy. I just connected the battery and output terminals together with a giant blob of solder. That shorts out this whole power load detection circuit and avoids the entire problem. It's not a pretty solution, but it works. Anyway, after the charging circuit is a voltage booster. I needed 5 volts to the Arduino. I think it might technically be able to come on and run at a lower voltage, but even if it can do that, it needs 5 volts to actuate the relay. So lithium ion batteries are a 3.7 volt output, at least the ones I bought. Wikipedia says that means they're probably lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt oxide with graphite anodes. The point is that the voltage is a property of the battery chemistry and can't be easily changed. I could have just used two batteries in series, but since lithium ion batteries are finicky about their charging, this could damage them. Also, it would mean using two batteries instead of one, and they're $6 each, so that ends up being a more expensive solution. I just use this voltage booster board instead, and that's cheaper than using a second battery. Again, I don't want to take too much credit for this idea, I just cribbed it from the same instructable I got the basic circuit design from. So, so far, this thing is working. The last thing to do was to put the solar panel on the roof. I made a little rack for it out of these metal things that I had on hand. I don't remember what I had them for anyway, but they work well for this. The roof, though, is looking pretty rough. Originally, when I built this, I was intending to use the same clear plastic for the roof that I used for everything else, but I ran out of that, and so I used this black plastic trash bag instead. It hasn't held up very well over time, but I do have this corrugated metal roof on the side. I didn't use the corrugated metal roof in the first place because I wasn't sure how to cut it, but while getting zip ties out of my shed so that I could put the solar panel rack thing on the roof, I remembered that I have tin snips in my toolbox. Don't ask me why I didn't think of this earlier, but they made quick work of the corrugated metal, and so I then just detached it uh, at the corners with screws. Worked perfectly fine, and it looks great. Well, it looks like rusty old metal, but it looks a whole lot better than an old trash bag. So, now the greenhouse has a tin roof and a working solar powered controller. All I need to do now is get rid of this extension cord running across my lawn. And that will be a story for another time. Because I haven't done it yet.